welcome back to my channel it's Shantae's way here today and today I wanted to do a video for you guys um, talking about the I will guess it will be the don'ts of um, deep conditioning uh, you guys know that I talk about deep conditioning a lot on my channel and I'm never really talked about what not to do so um, also I wanted to throw in some do's as well just so that this video can also be helpful to you if you are wanting to know you know if you are doing things the correct way by the way these are my do's and don'ts it doesn't mean that it's everyone's do's and don'ts so I'm just putting my uh, experience and opinion out there for you guys and you can also leave some comments down below of some things that you recommend um, anything that I missed in this video you can leave down in the comment section below also guys this is besides the point way left field but I wanted to say this a youtuber named she I don't know if I'm saying her name right but it's she Riza or she goes by Riz um, you guys may or may not know her but she lost her entire channel today um, she put it on her Instagram and you know I, she didn't ask me to do this I don't know her I just know her from you know YouTube and and um, she doesn't know me so she never asked me to do this but I just felt called to do this because I just feel so bad that her entire channel got hacked and taken down so if you guys can go subscribe to her new channel um, I will leave it down in the description box and I'll she had over 200,000 subscribers on her channel and I just think that it's messed up and when I seen that I was just like wow so anyways I don't want to put too much on that I just wanted to say to go subscribe to her channel um like i said i'll leave the link down below and let her know that i sent you guys and you guys would just be um very kind if you went over there and gave her like words of encouragement or just let her know that you know she still can you know continue on so yeah all right guys so let's go ahead and get right into the video Okay, so the first don't that I wanted to say, something that you should not be doing when you're deep conditioning is using the wrong product. And what I mean by that is you um, pick up a product that you didn't really read, read the ingredients. Your routine's kind of thrown off because your deep conditioning is so important to the routine, to your hair routine. When you use a deep conditioner that is not a good deep conditioner or that doesn't actually replenish your hair the way that it's supposed to um, or the way that it claims to do it can mess up the following steps of your hair routine I know for me I used a deep conditioner before that was entirely too thick for my hair and when I looked at the deep conditioner um, versus what I normally use I realized that I just got the wrong deep conditioner that deep conditioner was way too thick for my hair it wasn't even going into my hand my hair strands it was just sitting on top of my curls so um also when you are picking out a deep conditioner um this is not to impose any of my ideals on you guys but i recommend to pick a deep conditioner where the ingredients are good ingredients you don't want to get a deep conditioner that has a lot of chemicals in it that's going to dry out your hair that is not even supposed to be going into your scalp or on your hair um, just for the sake of oh this smells good or oh this is like the hottest product you have to read the ingredients so that's another side note um, besides the fact that you want to pick the right deep conditioner for you make sure that you're reading ingredients and that you're getting the healthiest products for your hair routine for example I have my deep conditioner here and the ingredients in here are very simple so what you would do is you would look at the ingredient list and of course everyone says to look at the first five ingredients but some companies have caught on to you guys doing that so i advise you to actually go into more of the ingredient list because after that fifth ingredient it could be something really bad okay so this is one that i recently um just found out about um, but you can actually over deep condition your hair and by that I mean you can be someone who leaves the deep conditioner in way too long but on the products there's always a recommended amount of time you should leave a, uh, should leave a deep conditioner in your hair so some products recommend 5 to 10 minutes some products recommend 15 to 20 minutes um, let's see what do I write what what uh okay yeah I recommend on my product 10 to 15 minutes and then if you're wanting to do a really really deep penetrating treatment 
uh, because this is a treatment as well, the um, deep conditioner, you can let it sit in your hair for 30 minutes. I have read and I've also heard from um, other people that leaving deep conditioner in your hair for too long can actually leave your strands over moisturized, which that's a whole nother video. But it's just good to look at the instructions on the product and actually see what the product is recommending for you to do. There has been times where I would leave a deep conditioner in my hair all day long and wash it out at the end of the day or overnight and wash it out one or two times, but I'm just talking about people who kind of do it all the time. Also, I wanted to mention that I used to leave deep conditioner in Naraya's hair overnight. Um, she has a completely different hair type for me from for those who are new to my channel. She has 4A type hair and I used to leave it in her hair overnight because I just didn't feel like washing it out um, after I shampooed her hair. And she would wake up and her, her scalp would be so itchy. And I had to stop doing that because I realized that it was not working for her. The next thing I wanted to mention is do not skip a deep condition. I always say on my channel that deep conditioning is so important and I stand by that. So whenever you wash your hair, deep condition. Really getting your healthy vitamins and your healthy benefits from your deep condition routine. And that's like a huge part of your curly hair routine. So in my opinion, why would you ever skip it? So I do want to mention that deep conditioning your hair with the right conditioner will really take your hair a long way. Um, my hair used to be very damaged. I transitioned and the most important part of my routine was me choosing right ingredients and right products um, and right deep conditioners for my hair. You guys know, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I started out um, and I still do. Using DIY products, um, I will make my products all the time it would always be um, a part of my routine and it was just something that I love to do. I also wanna point out the fact that deep conditioning does um, help grow your hair. So if you are deep conditioning on a regular basis and you're um, using a really good uh, routine, your hair is sure to grow. Um, deep conditioning really does help with hair growth. Um, I'm just gonna leave that there. As well as having a healthy diet, um, keeping your body nice and healthy on the inside as well. All yields and hair growth. By the way, if you guys been seeing like smoke come past in the video, I don't know if you can see it, but that's my instant burning. Nobody's smoking, no, that's my instant burning, so. So guys, that was my video. Um, hopefully it was uh, helpful for you guys. If it was, then leave a comment down below. That was all I had for you guys today, so I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.